Hello, everybody, and welcome back to The Beatles Forever. Uh, today, we're going to talk about what inspired George Harrison to become a musician and singer. Uh, George was 13 years old when he first became obsessed by guitars. His mother, Louise, uh, noticed that he was drawing pictures of guitars on scraps of paper all over the house. Uh, he be yeah, then became interested in Lonnie Donegan, who was in a skiffle band, and he played the guitar. <clears throat> and he asked his mom if he could have three pounds to buy a guitar from a guy at school. He bought it, but he started messing with the neck and the body of it with a screw that had a screw in it. And so it fell apart, and he was unable to put it back together. But uh, George put it in a cupboard and was probably embarrassed about breaking his guitar he just got. But luckily his brother Peter came across it and fixed it for him. Uh, George's mom, Louise, was incredibly supportive of her son and his music aspirations. Uh, she gave him encouragement as he struggled to learn the chords. Uh, he didn't have a natural gift. It uh, didn't come easy for him. But one thing he did have was determination. He really loved guitar. That's, he was so obsessed, that's all he would think about, night and day. So he got frustrated, but he never gave up. Uh, George's p brother Peter started playing guitar at the same time as George, and they formed a skiffle band and called themselves the Rebels. Uh, they played on one per public performance only and got 10 shillings. And that was pretty successful, I would think, for being young men like they were. Um, but that was the only time they ever played publicly again. And it was George's passion for guitars that led him and Paul McCartney to becoming friends. Uh, Paul was crazy about guitars, too. And they met each other when they were riding a bus into Liverpool every day. And it's amazing how destiny can bring people together. Uh, you just never know what road it will take you down. And this road was pretty successful for the both of them. Um, Paul and George would practice guitar in George's bedroom, and by this time, George had a much better guitar. It cost 30 pounds, and once more, his mom helped him to get it. And George started hanging around with the Quarrymen, the band that John Lennon formed and that Paul was a part of. Uh, he had played them the song Raunchy and Guitar Boogie Shuffle, but playing those songs didn't get him into the band right away. He was so young, they really didn't take him seriously, but he never gave up. He just kept on being there where they were, and soon they were uh, they accepted him later on because he was so talented in his guitar playing. And George's mom, in this time, always encouraged George, and, and she loved to have the band over to the house and play. And later, jo John and George got electric guitars, and George got a Hoffner Futurama that had the same look as Buddy Holly's guitar. And while John and George had electric guitars, they couldn't afford the speakers. But George was pretty handy. He was able to wire his and John's guitars through the microphone. I think that's pretty neat. <laughs> uh, Raunchy was the song that George learned to play, and it was originally done by the Sun Records guitar player who was named Bill Justice. Uh, George also loved Buddy Holly, just as Paul and John did, and they performed Holly's song, That'll Be the Day, as members of the Quarrymen. George Harrison also liked American Rockabilly. Uh, George Carl Perkins was someone he looked up to all his life. And Carl had some pretty catchy tunes like Blue Suede Shoes and Everybody's Trying to Be My Baby. Uh, but there was only one king, and that was uh, Elvis. And George, as well as John and Paul, really looked up to him. And they, Elvis really inspired them to get into the music business. Uh, George also loved George Formby. Um, his name is probably not as well known as the other rock and roll singers that I mentioned, but he was a performer in the 30s and the 40s. He played the banjo and the ukulele, and he was like an entertainer back in the back in England in the day. Uh, so George, I think, got his love from the banjo and ukulele from George Formby, and also. The ukulele rubbed off on Paul, too, because he seems to now, he carries one around with him all the time and an extra one in case somebody wants to jam with him. So George did the same thing, so they were kindred spirits in that way. <laughs> uh, also, George had a varying musical taste besides George Formby. Uh, he loved Indian classical music. So the love of rock and roll, the love of skiffle, the love of Indian music all merged to give George the talent he needed to become a music star in his own right. So I thank you for looking at the video today. And if you like it, please give a thumbs up. And 
if you want to subscribe, that would be very nice of you. <laughs> um, I hope everybody has a great day. Thank you. Bye.